Our strategic goal for economic and social development is to build a moderately prosperous society in all respects as our party celebrates its 100th anniversary. From the ethics and laws classes we had in primary school to political classes in universities, the concept of a moderately prosperous life and society has always been with us. But what is a moderately prosperous society? Let's go and find out. We made our trip through cities and countries in northeastern Sichuan. They struck me as clean and tidy with a vibrant environment. We are now at the Mount Gauding mining area. There were 12 mines. Within this mining area, five of which were coal mines, the rest were non-coal mines. All of them are shut down now. We plan to invest a total of 160 million yuan with those national and local government funds to restore and protect the environment within the mining area. Our plan is through restoring and protecting the environment, playing at our strength in this natural, vibrant environment, and developing health and fitness, eco-trips, and research and study in mining areas to eventually transform and upgrade our industrial structure and drive the economic development of our surrounding areas. Our area is among the civilized new villages. We are also close to the roads. Naturally, we developed a desire to protect our environment well. Why? There are tourist attractions in town. We've also grown some nice flowers here. Tourists would rest and spend some time here and take pictures of our beautiful flowers. Yang Qingan once told me a story of how he was heading for the market one day, only to return home after five minutes, because he vaguely remembered that he hadn't sorted his household waste yet. His village has already implemented household waste sorting. He was really into that. He was also afraid that the moral bank in his village would find this out and deduct his moral points. It was really embarrassing to him losing points. It is not enough, of course, to live a moderately prosperous life with only a good environment around you. Your living and production needs, as well as employment, should be ensured. Lajong City, Nanchong, has built their unique intellectual property around cultural tourism, with their ancient city and Jialin River providing employment for local citizens. Other places, however, have taken a path less traveled. Secretary of Jinju Village, Sui Ning, has not only made economic development with local villagers and provided much-needed capable personnel, but also sold their products via live streaming. Hello, my internet friends. I'm Peng Junsong, Secretary of Jinshan Village. Today, I recommend to you the crown jewel of our agricultural products, pure bread black bone chicken. As you can see, our chickens are rather vigorous with their abandoned melanin and collagen. They will make you say, Oh my god, this is so good! Come on, order them now! As you can see, their residence is behind me, in this elevated cabin. They will take a walk down there in our three-acre citron field as recreation. They drink from our mountain spring, eat our pollution-free vegetables, such as corn and other excess agricultural products. Black bone chickens like this are a real treat on your dining table. Please free to contact me if you would like to make a purchase. The urban and rural environment that we live in are have been improved now. Our wallets are fuller. There were also those who believed that a happy and joyful life for children is living the moderately prosperous life. Our kindergarten nurtures their conception of beauty. Every week, each class will have one or two characteristic courses tailored to their needs and specialties. With its confined environment, a kindergarten provides to children a relaxed, joyous, and free environment to study in, as well as keeping them abundantly supplied. In environments such as this, we encourage children to make creations to their liking, to realize their imaginations, and cultivate their perception of beauty. Government-run kindergartens in Guang'an are pretty well occupied now. Most of them are fully occupied, actually. Guang'an government are still trying their best to establish more government-owned kindergartens.
Throughout our journey in Northeast Sichuan, I have made many acquaintances, as well enjoying many conversations. When asked, what is your idea of living a moderately prosperous life, most will give their answer as this. Life as we're living is our moderately prosperous life. With smiles on their faces, I think I know what a moderately prosperous life means.